Yes, it's good to see you again. We are rounding still with decimals, and now we're going to round to the nearest hundred. And I make, um, I just make fun of, fun of myself, uh, uh, emphasizing on that pronunciation of the nearest hundred, because I want to distinguish between the hundreds and the hundred. Because what is this? This is actually two, two decimal places. Yeah. Because what is the place value? Now, if I look at my first number, these will be my units. Then I have my tens and then my hundreds okay so we're talking about the second decimal place now and it really follows the same path as uh, rounding with whole numbers or rounding with one decimal place everything it's all the same picture that number line is it nearer to 5.32 or is it nearer to 5.33 well that depends on the next number if it's a five or higher five six seven eight nine the two will go up yeah so i've explained this in previous videos so in this case, it's going to be 5.33, because the 2 goes up to a 3 because of that 5. I don't care about the rest of the numbers, just about the next one. Okay, 99.534, two decimal places, 3, stays at 3, or goes up to a 4. That depends on the next one. It's less than 5, so it's going to stay at 3, guys. 99.53. Over here, two decimal places to the nearest hundred. It's the five, stays a five, go up to a six. Depends on the next number, which is higher than a five. So it goes to a six, 7.26. Yeah, and I cannot stress enough how important it is that you can round properly, yeah? Every time on your exam, for instance, when you have an answer which is not exact, and when you have to round, you gotta do so properly yeah, for your final answer. You will lose points if you don't do it properly. And you've done all these complicated calculations and then you make such an unnecessary rounding mistake in the end, you lose points. It's, it's, it's just a shame. Okay, 12.2951, two decimal places, that's the nine. Stays a nine or goes up to a 10. And it does go up. And also here, make sure that the 10, the one of the 10 gets carried over to the next place value. So in this particular case, it's going to be 12.30. That zero, you have to write down, it's part of your solution at two decimal places. Don't say, oh, I can, I don't have to write that zero on the right side. Huh? No, you have to write down 12.30. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Otherwise, leave me a question and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Well done.